Welcome to this lesson on one variable inequality word problems. At the top you have a table with keywords that's going to help you determine what symbol to use when you set up these inequalities. So when you're reading the problem it might help if you underline when you see these key phrases or words or highlight whatever works for you. So let's go ahead and do the examples. So number one, the sum of a number and eight is less than 12. So less than, that's right here. All right, so the sum of a number and eight, so sum means to add, so we have a number plus eight is less than 12. And then once you have your inequality set up, all you have to do is solve. So subtract eight, x is less than four. All right, number two, a pizza cost $5 plus 25 cents for each topping. If you have $10, what is the maximum number of toppings that you can get on the pizza? So maximum, I see that right here. That's gonna be less than or equal to. And the reason is because we don't wanna go above that max. We want our toppings to be at the max or less because all we have is $10, we can't go over that amount. So that's why it's less than, even though maximum sounds like it may be greater than, it's actually maximum that or less. Okay, so pizza cost $5 plus 25 cents for each topping. So it's like 25 cents per topping. And we're gonna write 25 cents like this because we're talking about dollars, it's 0.25 of a dollar per topping. And the maximum we want to spend is $10. So we want this amount to be less than or equal to 10 because we don't have any more than $10. All right, so let's solve. So I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. And then divide by 0.25. So x is less than or equal to 20. So the maximum amount of toppings you can get is 20 toppings. Okay, number three, Lamar weighs 250 pounds. If he loses 10 pounds and then two pounds per week after that, how many weeks will it take him to weigh less than 175? Okay, so he starts off at 250 and he loses 10 pounds. So that means he's really starting out at 240. And then he's losing, so we're subtracting weight two pounds per week. We know per means to multiply, so two per week. And we're asking about weeks, so weeks is our x, our variable that we're trying to find. And we wanna see how long it's gonna take him to weigh less than 175. Okay, so I'm gonna subtract 240 from both sides. And then I'm going to divide by negative 2. And remember, when you divide by a negative, you flip the sign. So 65 divided by 2, that's 32.5. So how many weeks will it take him to lose less than, or to weigh less than 175? It's going to take him 32.5 weeks, actually greater than 32.5 weeks. So when you write your answer, you want to write it in terms of the problem. So it's going to take him more than... 32.5 weeks. So basically 33 weeks or more. Okay, four, more than, all right, I already see my key phrase, more than 150 students went on a field trip. 10 students rode on cars and the other students were separated into buses. What's the smallest number of students on each bus? All right, so we know that it's going to be more than 150 students. 10 rode in cars. And then we have five buses with kids. So we want to know how many kids are on each bus. So x is the number of students on each bus. So plus 5x. That's the number of students. All right, so minus 10 minus 10. Divide by 5. 
x is greater than 28. So the question says, what's the smallest number of students on each bus? Well, if the number has to be greater than 28, that means at least 29. 29 students is the smallest amount on each bus if 150 students, if more than 150 students went. All right, number five, Sarah has $325. She spends 10 a week on gas. If she wants to have at least, there's my key phrase, 150 left, how many weeks can she buy gas? All right, so she wants to have at least 150. So let's scroll up and see at least, that's right here. So that's greater than or equal to at least 150. Sometimes it's easier if you start with the end. She's starting with 325 and she's spending money. So that means she's subtracting money from that 325. Her money is getting smaller. So minus 10 per week. And weeks is our x. That's what we're trying to find, our variable. All right, so let's subtract. That gives me negative 175. Then we're dividing by negative 10. Remember, when you divide by a negative, you reverse the sign. And that is 17.5. Okay, so let's make sure we answer the question. How many weeks can she buy gas? She can buy gas for 17.5 weeks or less. So at most, 17.5 weeks, if you want to say that. After that, she's out of money. Okay, number six. The math club is counting the number of seniors who drive a car to school. The front office tells them that no more than half of the seniors drive. If they count 46 seniors driving, what is the maximum amount of seniors at their school? So what's the maximum amount? That's going to be here. So this is less than or equal to. All right, now this one is a little bit tricky. So if they count 46 seniors driving, what's the maximum amount of seniors at their school? We know that no more than half of the seniors drive. So half of the seniors drive. And that has to be less than or equal to 46 because they count 46 seniors driving. So let's see how we would solve this. I can divide by one half on both sides or I can multiply by the reciprocal. So that might be a little bit easier in this case because I'm just multiplying by two. Because 2 times 1 half is just 1x, which I can just write as x. And 46 times 2 is 92. So the maximum amount of seniors at the school is 92 seniors. Alright, you can go ahead and stop the video and complete the practice.